Hi, boys and girls. This is lesson 2.6 in your Go Math book. It is page 105, and we are writing three-digit numbers using words, okay? Um, if you need to see the spelling of words, go back. I believe it's page 38 or 39, one of those, and you'll have your list of um, number words, how to spell them, okay? So, you can go and look at that <clears throat> to know how to spell those. We're going to fill in the missing numbers here and then circle the number words for them. So, we have 12 and 13 and a space before that, which would be 11, 14, 28, 29, 34, 35, our next space is here, 45, blank, and 47, so we know it's 46, and our next blank is between 51 and 53, so we know it is 52. So, these are the ones I filled in. Now, I have to find the words that match them. So, look for 11. I see it. 14. Do you see it? right here, 29. Don't forget, whenever we go into those two digit numbers past the 20s, we have to put a hyphen here, okay? 35, see that here, 46, there's 41, is that right? No, it has to be 46. And lastly, we have 52, which is down here. Remember, at any time, if I go too fast and you need to pause, just pause. You can use words to write three-digit numbers. First, look at the hundreds digit, then look at the tens digit and the ones digit together. So, when we have this number here, 245, we look at the digit in the hundreds place and we write that down. In this case, it's a 2, 245. We write these words like we say them, okay? 713, that's how I would say this, right? I write it the same way, 713. Coming down here, they've done number one for you, 506, 506. Now, we don't put a hyphen between the hundred and the number, only between the tens digit and the ones digit, if it's higher than 20. Well, 21, I should say, 21 and higher. This number, 189. So, let's go back and really think about how we're reading this so that we can write it the same way. 100, so 100 is what I said, whoops, Eighty nine. where does my hyphen go? In between the 80 and the 9, 328. I say three, I say hundred, twenty, and eight. Where does my hyphen go? In between 20 and eight. It goes in between the tens and the ones if the number is higher than 21. At the bottom, it's backwards. They've given you the numbers and we have to write them in standard form. 415. 415. 291. Well, two is in the hundreds place. Nine is in the tens place. One is in the ones. If you need help doing this, you can mark your hundreds, tens, and ones in your chart over here before you write it on the line. Pause this and do six and seven. Then turn over to page 107 
And at the top, we have 717. Pause this and do these two. Okay, you should have had seven in the hundreds place because we have 700. And then 17 follows that. And the number is written as 717 and we say it as 717. 390. You should have had three in the hundreds place because we it says that we have 300. And then 90. Write the number using words. Pause this and do 10 and 11. Okay, you should have had five, whoops, 100. Sixty-eight, and then for number eleven, you should have had three hundred twenty-one. Okay, and we don't put periods on the end of these. I know some of you guys like to do that sometimes. We don't put periods on the end of them because they're not complete sentences. My three digit number has a four in the hundreds place. It has a greater digit in the tens place than the ones place. The sum of the digits is six. So sum means that when you add up all the digits together, it is gonna equal six. The sum is the answer to an addition problem. So I'm gonna start by making my hundreds, tens, and ones chart. I want you to do this also. It has a digit four in the hundreds place, a greater digit in the tens place than in the ones place. So this number has to be bigger than this number, but they all have to equal six. So four, this is gonna to have to be a two, and this is gonna to have to be a zero. And because when you add four plus two plus zero, you get six. So 420, because four plus two plus zero equals six. Write the number using words. It is four hundred twenty. You can pause this if you need to finish. Moving on to number 13, Alma counts 268 leaves, which is another way to write this number. Circle your answer. So 268, 268. That's how we do it in standard form. Okay, two plus six plus eight, no. 200 plus 60 plus eight. Yes, that is how we write this number in expanded form when we stretch this number out. We stretch it out to read like we say it. And we say 268. Okay, moving on to the back. Derek counts 190 cars, which is another way to write his number. 190. Okay, I want you to do this one on your own. Beth counted 356 straws, which is another way to write this number. 356, so we have 356 here written in standard form. How would we write that in expanded form? Go ahead and do that now. Pause this. Then when you're ready, we're moving on to number 16. There are 537 chairs at the school. Write this number using words. Okay, you write it like we say it. Five hundred thirty seven. We put that hyphen in between the 30 and the seven. Show the number in two other ways. So how would we put this in hundreds, tens, and ones? The five is in the hundreds place here, so we put it in the hundreds. Three is in the tens, and seven is in the ones. 
So whenever we put this in expanded form, five hundredths, five zero zero, three tenths, thirty seven. Okay, do your practice and homework, which is page 109 and page 110 on your own.